Hi everyone. Today we're going to create a fitness routine and we're going to be using Scratch to create this project. And hey, if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube which will get up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. So let's get on to our fitness routine today. So I'm going to go to Scratch and I'm already here, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the create button because we're creating a brand new project today. If a tutorial pops up, you can just exit the tutorial because I'm doing the tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat, so I'm going to click on the garbage can, goodbye cat. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get a character that has a lot of fitness moves. So watch, it's going to be a real life person. There's a lot of real life people that have lots of fitness moves, like Anina, she has a whole bunch right there. You'll notice when I go to Amon, he's real life, but he has no moves. There's no different costumes that appear. Anina has lots of costumes, so Anina's good. Um, Calvert doesn't have very many costumes, so he's not good. Champ is great. Lots of costumes for Champ. D-Money is great. So I'm going to choose D-Money. Lots of costumes there. So I've just chosen D-Money. So here's the costumes. You can see this costume. Um, this one, it's called Stance and Top Span, Right Leg, Left Leg, and all sorts of stuff like that. So we're going to start the game where um, D-Money... It's going to go to the center, and it's going to start with a couple of basic moves. And the moves that I like are the left arm and right arm pop right there. Left arm and right arm pop right there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of the other ones because it's going to be kind of confusing. So I'm just going to say goodbye to that one, goodbye to that one. I'm going to keep deleting until I've gotten rid of all of the other ones um, because I'll be confused. There's so many different, different uh, costumes. Goodbye. There, I'm going to keep that one. You'll see why in a minute. Left arm, right arm. Left arm, right arm. So that's part of our fitness routine. So watch what I'm going to do. When the green flag is clicked, and let me make this a bit bigger for you at home or at school, wherever you happen to be watching this. When the green flag is clicked, let's go to the basic costume. We're standing like this, ready to show us what to do. Costumes, they're under the looks button. Switch to costume, and I think it's called stance. Stand right there. Let's just double check. Yep, stand. So when a green flag is clicked, he goes to just a regular costume where he's just standing there waiting for the next thing. And then he's going to switch to costumes, right arm and left arm. And it's going to click these buttons here. So left arm and right arm. And he's going to go back and forth between these two. And I'm going to put a repeat on here 10 times. Repeat these moves 10 times. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a weight uh, uh, in between. Maybe one second and one second. So it doesn't go too fast because it is a computer. It'll go really fast. And I'm going to have D-Money say something. Let's get ready to work out or something like that. Let's work out. There we go for two seconds. So let's see how this looks. When the green flag is clicked, he's going to go to the regular standing costume. He's going to say let's work out. And then it's going to go back and forth between the right arm pop and the left arm pop. Let's see how that looks. Ready? Green flag and go. Okay, let's work out. Left arm, right arm. Left arm, right arm. It's kind of slow. You know, one second is a bit too long, so I'm just going to make it go a little bit faster. Maybe instead of one second, I'm going to go 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 right there. Let's try once more. Let's work out. Left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm. Great, he does that 10 times. Fantastic. So there's the first part of our project today. Um, find a real life human character that has a lot of fitness moves. I chose D-Money, you can choose a few others. Uh, Champ is great, Anina is great, and there's a couple of others. And then when the green flag is clicked, have your character go to a regular standing pose and say something like, let's work out. And then repeat 10 times between two different fitness moves. And for me, it was right arm and left arm pop. And he did that 10 times. I also threw a weight in there of 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so that it doesn't go too fast. So I'm going to pause right there. Let everybody catch up. Get your character. Have them do a basic little workout at the beginning. And then when you're ready, we'll continue on for the next part. Okay, so far so good. So our character is saying let's work out and he switches between two different costumes and begins our fitness routine. Perfect. One thing's missing though, music. Most people like to work out with music playing. So it's going to pause 
and I'm gonna go get a song to play along with this little routine. So look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna to go to the sounds button right there. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom down there and I'm gonna choose a sound. See at the bottom? And what I want is a loop today, something that's gonna last for five or six seconds. And there's a whole bunch to choose from. Maybe I'll choose dance magic for today right there. You can try out ones below and see what works for you, but I'm gonna choose dance magic. So now I'm gonna go back to the code. Before he starts this repeating workout, he's, we're gonna start playing the sounds. So start sound, dance magic. So let's see how this works. Ready, green flag and go. Let's work out. Music plays. He starts doing his dance moves. Perfect. You know the backdrop is kind of boring. I'm gonna get some kind of a backdrop here. So I'm gonna click down here and I'm gonna choose a backdrop. And for me, it's gonna be a simple one, blue sky. I'm just gonna pull him down a little bit so it looks like he's standing right on the ground. So that's the next thing, get a piece of music and you do that by clicking on the sounds button. You click down here to search for a sound and I suggest you go to the loops and find a song that works for your fitness routine. And then set the code that so that um, the music starts just before he does his repeat. So start the sound, dance magic, and he repeats 10 times. You know what? I noticed that the music went a little bit longer and he stopped. Watch. Let's work out. And he's doing his workout while the music's playing. Oh, he's continuing to work out and the music stops. So look what I'm gonna do. Instead of 10 repeats, I'm gonna try eight repeats. So he'll stop close to when the music stops. And you might wanna experiment with the numbers just to get it just right. So I'm gonna pause there again, let you get a piece of music that fits with your routine, and then we're gonna get going on to the next part. So find a piece of music that fits with your routine, and I'll be waiting for you in, in a few minutes. All right, so now that you've got a piece of music to go along through your, your uh, fitness moves, we've pretty much done the main coding block. Now all we need to do is just kind of repeat this over and over again. So watch what I'm gonna do. We're gonna get a new character. I'm gonna stay on D money, but look, I'm gonna click on the costumes button. And I'm gonna click down here, I'm gonna choose two more costumes or maybe three more costumes. I like a Nina, so I'm gonna get a, a Nina stance right there. So she's just standing there. No, there's a stance right there, stance. I'm going to go get two Anina fitness moves. So let's say toe touching. I think she has toe touching moves. Yes, Anina right there and Anina right there. These are two toe touching moves right there. That's going to be our next fitness routine, these two touching, toe touching moves. So watch how I code this one. The code is just going to be like this one. Okay, so I'm going to have the costume switch to her stance. So um, switch to costume, switch to costume. Not Anina front, but Anina stand right there. Okay, so she's going to be standing. Then she's going to say toe touches. So she's going to say, let's try toe touches. For two seconds. And then you're going to have her get a sound. So I'm going to get a song. Different song this time. I'm going to go back to the loops. And the one I like is dance guitar. So I'm going to click on Dance Sitar. I'm going to add the music Dance Sitar. So I'm going to go to the sounds, play sound Dance Sitar. And then she's going to switch between her two costumes. So the um, looks button again, switch to costume. Uh, Nina pop, no, Nina, yeah, pop front and then pop down. It's a little confusing. There's so many different costumes. Pop down and I'm going to put a 0 0.5 weight in there as well. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, there. I'm going to change those to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And then I'm going to repeat 10 times around that. Repeat 10 times. So first we had D money. Do his workout routine right there. Then I had um, Anina do her workout routine right there, almost exactly the same. Let's see how this looks from the beginning. Okay, green flag. Let's work out. He's doing his arm pop. Now Anina. Oh. 
switch to costume Anina stance. There we go. And then Anina pop front and pop down. I'm going to try that one more time. Ready? Let's work out. There's me money, do this moves. Now Anina. Oh, you see what happened there? Anina was waiting until the music stopped. Look, I put down play sound, dance sitar until done. And then it continued on. I don't want that. I want the music to play while she's doing her workout. So this was the wrong code. Play sound, dance sitar until done. So goodbye to that one. And I'm going to play sound, dance, sitar. So this should all work now. This is what you do in coding a lot. You have to go back and fix all sorts of glitches. But I think we've got all of the glitches fixed now. So D money says let's work out. Music's playing. He's going back and forth between right arm and left arm. Now Anina stance. She's gonna have the music playing while she does her um, toe touches. Perfect. Except she does too many. So instead of eight rip, ten repeats, I'm only gonna try five repeats. So I think that should be better. So we're going to continue on. What I'm going to ask you to do is to get as many different characters doing as many different fitness routines, uh, workouts, moves as you can. I've got two for so far. D Money and Anina Stance. So I'm going to go get one more now while you're working. Maybe you want to get one or two more as well. And I'll see you back here in a few minutes for the next part. All right, so while you were working away, I also was continuing to work, so I got some new costumes. I got um, Champ. I like Champ. There's his stance pose right there. And then he did his fitness routine from this move to this move and back and forth and back and forth. And I have a great piece of music to go along with it. It's called Dance Around. So I've coded three different characters to show some fitness moves. So now I'm going to put a big forever looper on the whole thing. So it just goes on and on. So you can work out while watching the scratch video. So I'm going to go down to the controls and I'm going to get a forever loop. And I'm going to put it on the whole thing right there. Perfect. So it's just going to go on and on between these different dance moves. Um, now we're going to add a couple of things to make our game a little bit better and a bit more interactive. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a variable. I know that they always wait 0.5 for all of these things. But I'm going to make a variable called speed that we can use to make the workout go faster or slower. So I'm going to go to the word, uh, the button variables. And I'm going to make a variable. And I'm going to call it speed. And press OK. So there it is right there, speed. But I'm going to hide it. I'm going to click the checkbox right there so it's gone. It's still there, but you just can't see it. So we've made a variable called speed. So when the green flag is clicked, let's set our variable speed to 0 decimal 5. Okay? And now instead of waiting 0 decimal 0 5, the characters wait speed seconds. The characters wait speed seconds. And the speed right now is 0 decimal 5. And instead of variable, it should be speed. Set speed to 0 decimal 5. And then wait speed seconds, wait speed seconds. You're going to see why we're doing this shortly. Wait speed seconds. Wait speed seconds. Like that. And I'm almost done this part. Wait speed seconds. In fact, we're almost done the whole thing. Uh, so thanks for your patience. Wait speed seconds. Okay, so there we go. So now I've added a forever loop to the whole thing. And then I created a variable. I went to the variables button. I clicked make a variable. And I called my variable speed. That's going to be the speed at which he works out. And I set the speed to 0 0.5. And then he waits speed seconds in between each move, which we know is 0 0.5. So that's how fast he's going to work out for now. So I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to pause. You're going to put a forever loop around the whole thing. And you're going to create a variable called speed. And then you're going to set the speed to 0 0.5. And then you're going to have all the weights change to speed seconds. So I'm just going to pause, let you catch up with that. And when you're ready to go, I'll be here for the last part. All right, so now we're going to add a couple of buttons to make the workout go faster or slower. So I'm just going to go down here and choose a sprite. And I'm going to choose a button sprite. There's a couple for you to choose from. I'm going to choose this one that looks a bit better uh, than the plain gray one. So I'm going to double click that one. 
And now I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to write on it the word slow. So I'm on this one right now. I'm going to go to costumes. I'm going to grab T for text. Choose a color that works well with the color blue. And I, for me, I think that's yellow. And I'm going to write on here slow like that. I'm going to click away. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it clearly. There we go. That's the slow button. Perfect. Now watch how I code the slow button. So there's no code under right now. Um, when this button is clicked, when this sprite is clicked, when anyone clicks this sprite, we're going to change um, the speed variable. So um, set speed. This is a slow one, right? Yeah, so 1.0. So it's going to wait 1.0 seconds between every move. It's going to really slow down. So remember, when I press the green flag, it set the um, speed to 0 0.5. See, it's going 0 0.5. But look what happens when I press slow. He slows down a lot. Now the speed has been set to 1.0. Okay, so that slowed it down. I'm going to create another button. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to get the same button. Um, this one I'm going to move over here and I'm going to write on it fast. So I'm going to um, go to the costume button. It's already yellow, T for text. Fast. Okay, click away and I'm going to grab the corner, make it a little bit bigger, as big as possible so people can see it. Perfect. So this is the fast button. Now look how I code the fast button. When this button is clicked, when someone clicks on the fast button, Button. When this sprite is clicked, um, change my speed variable, set my speed variable to something like 0 decimal 2. It's going to go really fast. So ready, watch. Green flag. So right now he's going to be moving at 0 decimal 5. I can slow him right down or I can speed him up. Look at that. Perfect. And Nina's going to also go very fast or I can slow her down. So there's the code for the buttons. Um, when this sprite is clicked, set the speed to 0 0.2. That's the fast one. The slow one, when this sprite is clicked, set the speed to 1.0. And so, of course, that makes the speed, the weights in between the moves, go faster or slower. I'm just going to leave this here and let you um, do those two buttons. And then we'll be back for the very last part. I promise we are done right after this. So create a couple of buttons and... Code it just the way I've done up here. If you get stuck, look at my code. All right, so the last part. If you remember in the original that I showed you at the beginning of the video, there were these two hearts. And what happens with these hearts is they beat. This one beats slowly. This one beats quickly. So we're going to create a couple of hearts and code them to beat slowly and to beat rapidly. So um, how, here's how we do it. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose a sprite. And there's a heart sprite that works perfectly heart right there it's awfully big though so i'm gonna have to shrink that one i guess you could leave it that size if you like um but i'm gonna code it so that it beats slowly watch how i do that when the green flag is clicked um look so i'm gonna set the size to a little bit smaller set the size right now it's 100 percent. i'm gonna set the size to about 40 percent. okay let's see how big that is Okay, that's a good size right there. I set the size to 40%. Now I'm going to change the size. Change the size by 10% and then change, change the size by negative 10%. So it goes back and forth a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller. And I'm going to put a weight in there. So a weight. So for the slow beating heart, I think I'm going to have it weight um, about 0 0.4. 0 0.4. And I'm going to put one more weight. 0, decimal 4. I'm going to connect these and just repeat forever. So I think that one's done. Well, let's see how this heart beats. Is 0 0.4 too fast or too slow for a slow beating heart? Okay, right there. I think that's a good speed. That's a slow beating heart. Okay. Now look what I'm going to do. I have a little trick. Rather than do this all over again, I'm going to put the mouse pointer right here. I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate it. So I've got a second heart, which I'm going to move over here. And now I'm going to code the second heart to go a little bit faster. 0 
point one, zero point one. Let's see if that one beats quickly enough for us. Yeah, that one's beating fast. That one's beating slow. If I hit the slow button, he goes very slowly. If I hit the fast button, he goes very quickly. Great. Last thing we're missing is a title. I'm going to put up here fitness workout. So I'm going to do that by clicking down here and clicking on the paintbrush. So I'm clicking on the paintbrush right now. I'm going to choose a color that I like. Maybe a nice uh, dark blue would be good. Um, and then I'm going to choose T for text. And I'm going to write here fitness workout. Great. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There. I'm going to grab it, move it up here. And we're done our project. So we've got the beating heart. There's the code for the heart. That's the slow beating heart, waiting 0 0.4. There's the quickly beating heart, waiting only 0 0.1. And then of course I've got the fast button and the slow button to change the speed variables. And of course all the code for my characters which we've done already. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next one which is gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks everyone.